this video you will see how a cotton plucked from the farm is converted to a yarn which is suitable for making fabric now here is a cotton plucked from the fields it contains seeds and we are to remove the seeds while removing our endeavor would be to straighten the fibers and open the fibers this process of removing the seeds is called as ginning now the fibers which i am pulling it from the seeds they are getting straightened and opened now these open fibers will st further be straightened by pulling them apart gradually in one uniform direction after doing so for repeatedly for times uh, i'll i'll be spreading this as a handkerchief and using a bamboo stick which is tapered at one end i will roll roll it over like this in the form of a small stick i will remove the bamboo sticks and the product is called as a puni in hindi or sliver in english now with this sliver i will demonstrate how a yarn is formed essentially it has got two components one is twist and another is pull so by combining both of them twisting and pulling twisting and pulling a continuous yarn of uniform thickness can be applied this process by which making the yarn by hand is a slow process to accelerate this process a further a small invention is made this is a takli takli has a steel rod and a brass washer which enables it to rotate with a high speed for quite some time so this energy rotational energy we use it for twisting the yarn at a faster rate by engaging the other end of the fiber in a sliver we can draft yarn like this now thus the yarn is formed there is a difference between yarn and a thread when two or more strands of yarn are plied together that is called as a thread now this process of making yarn by with which we did it with takli that takli is called as a drop spindle there are various types of charkhas invented the old one which uh, with the bamboo charkha that which occupied lot of space and it was very in inconvenient for moving it from one place to the other was developed or evolved into a box charkha like this there are another types of charkha there is a kisan charkha there is a book charkha there is a travelers charkha so one of them is this box charkha which we will see in during this demonstration further now the box charkha has various components which we will see later this one is main uh, drive pulley which drives the in between pulley which is called as an accelerator pulley with a rubber belt this pulley further drives the spindle with a thin belt made of yarn now one rotation of spindle one rotation of the main wheel rotates the spindle about 150 times in this process to have a uniformity in the yarn produced there is a convention that the yarn produced will be of a right hand, right hand type that is s type yarn and to make it happen the small belt the part of the small belt which comes over a small pulley on the spindle that should be on our side that will give you a right direction for the twist on the yarn now the spindle which rotates at 150 rotations per rotation of a handle is ready for making a yarn now here one has to take care of assembling the spindle in a right way there should be a leather washer in between the aluminum disc and a pulley which is there to prevent the pulley rubbing against the wood of the stand the spindle should rest on the, the cotton cord which lubricates the spindle and does not allow it to rub against the wood so this way the spindle will make less of noise and run smoothly for long time the process of making yarn is like this when you attach the pony to the end of the thread the end of the thread should have open fibers this can be done by untwisting the end and pulling it apart so the fibers are open 
to place that end over the cotton and give a small twist enable that end of the thread to catch up with the fibers in the puni you slightly pull it and check whether they have caught up or not and then gradually pull and rotate the spindle and balance the pull and twist so that a good yarn is formed the yarn thus produced is to be wound over and given to the weaver to make this process convenient it is wound over a winder which is placed on the accelerator wheel which is freed from both the belts and one end of the yarn from the spindle is tied to the vertical limb of the winder passing through a guiding hook and rotated with the hand thus generally 200 turns we will make five bunches of 200 turns in a continuous way so thus 500 turns into 200 turns into five bunches will make 1 km of length of the yarn so this when we wind it and store it for storage take it into this this form that is called as an hang this one hang will always have 1 km of length of the yarn the quality of the yarn to be precise the thickness of the yarn is measured in terms of its count the count is the number of hanks required for weighing 1 kg for example if 40 hanks make 1 kg the count of that yarn will be 40 the bigger the number the finer the yarn general purpose clothing requires around 40 count yarn saree requires around 80 or 100 count yarn dhoti still finer say about 120 160 count yarn to make 1 square meter of a cloth approximately 4 to 5 hanks are required that is 4 to 5 km of 40 count yarn will make 1 square meter of a cloth to make 1 shirt or 1 kurta require about 2 and 1/2 meter of a cloth so it will take about 12 13 hanks to make one kurta thank you so much and have a nice spinning time